the situation went from scary uh, to hilarious. The people of Iconium wanted to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. It's a pretty scary situation. So Paul and Barnabas fled to Lystra. There, in Lystra, the situation became hilarious. A man who had never walked in his entire life meets Paul, and Paul commands him to stand up straight on his feet. And miraculously, the man jumps up and walks about for the first time in his life. That's not the hilarious part. But perhaps even Paul and Barnabas were astounded by the power of God to heal this man. So praise Jesus for what happened in Lystra. But instead of praising Jesus, the people cried out that gods had come to them in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus, and they called Paul Hermes. Then the priest came along with an oxen to offer sacrifice, not to the living God that had done such wonderful things in this man's life, but to, to their idols whom they had mistakenly identified Paul and Barnabas to be. It had to be funny, kind of Monty Pythonish. But Paul and Barnabas, aware that the marvels that the Lord had done and how seriously mistaken these people were, did not laugh. Rather, they tore their garments. Why are you doing this? You should turn from these idols to the living God, they said. And then they began to teach the people about the living God the one who had healed this man, the one who makes the rains fall, the one who fills us with nourishment, the one who gladdens our hearts. But the people still did not understand and remained intent on offering sacrifice to Paul and Barnabas as gods in human form as they thought them to be. To the eyes of faith, the marvelous deeds of God are very clear. We know them right away. Through the eyes of faith, we readily see the beauty of the earth and in wonder and amazement, we quite naturally praise God. When we're healed through medicine and the skills of doctors and nurses and other medical personnel, we're certainly appreciative of their efforts. But more instinctively, we praise God for what he has done through their hands. It seems ridiculous to us to call it anything else but the power of God. That the people of Lystra would attribute these marvelous healings or the marvelous healings of this man who had never walked before, attribute that to gods who had never done anything for them is very comical. But in the midst of this, what I see as kind of a comedy, we have the eyes of faith that see not comedy, but the miraculous work of God. 